so here's the Oregonian. What happened is in uh, North Portland, which is the fifth quadrant of Portland, there was a <laughs> yes, confrontation. We're yeah, it's I don't very know why odd. We've done it that way. Yeah. But. Um, but anyway, in North Portland, there was a confrontation. And what apparently happened is that a driver who claims he did not know that there was a protest going on uh, drove his way into a weekly protest. Now, this is a protest that goes on without permits or anything. He drove into this protest and was immediately challenged uh, by protesters. Now, the weekly protest is to get, quote unquote, justice for Patrick Kimmons, who was killed by police in a confrontation in which he had just shot two people and then came at police pointing his gun at them, and they shot him 12 times and he died. Do we know what justice would look like? It, it begs the question. A weekly protest to get justice in the case of a man who was shot by police under circumstances that I think, and it's not as if this is simply the police having declared the shooting justified. There is video from two different angles of this shooting. You can see it yourself. And in fact, Zach, do you want to go to the other article on the... Yeah, the video from the other article would be good. So anyway, it's not the most beautiful video in the world because, uh, yes, because it's uh, graphic in its content and because it's surveillance uh, video. So, you know, some sort of CCTV thing. Um, so he's about to come running. You can see the police over there on the right. You can see Kimmons in the circle running at police, gun out. They shoot him. Um, there's video from the other side. So this is a thoroughly documented instance in which a man who happens to be black is shot by police having just shot two people and threatening Not the police. police but the but the man who was shot had just shot two had people. just shot two people mm -hmm. um so you know but that has nothing to do with what happened last week what happened last week was in the middle of a weekly protest in support of justice for the guy who was shot by police well right? but it does have something to do with it in the sense that you have a weekly protest and in that weekly protest you had people brandishing uh, high-powered rifles. So this protest contained people walking around with um, high-powered rifles. Now, I should point out, in some sense, the reason that I want to raise this is that I have the sense that, you know, uh, Evergreen was a cautionary tale for Portland, and Portland's a cautionary tale for at least the West Coast, if not the nation, that we are headed... Mm -hmm into very dangerous waters. Now, it happens that the guy who drove into this protest had a weapon. Now, I think that weapon was a handgun, and I believe it was loaded with some sort of non-lethal ammunition. That's how it's described by the Oregonian. But he was armed, and these protesters were armed with incredibly high-powered weapons. Now, probably all of that is legal because there are two ways that those weapons... Uh, in the hands of the protesters could be legal. Oregon is an open carry state. Um, Portland prohibits uh, the carry, the open carrying of firearms. But if the people who were carrying the firearms had uh, a concealed carry permit, then the prohibition does not apply to them. And if the weapons were unloaded, it does not apply. So wait, if you have a concealed carry permit, a prohibition against open carry doesn't apply to you. Correct. That doesn't make any sense. Correct. Are I, you serious? I, I, I'm quite. I, I, maybe I misunderstand the law, but I believe that this is the way the law reads. So the, the idea okay. is the state of Oregon allows open carry, um, and it has something called a will issue. Oh, oh, so but Portland doesn't unless. So basically, the state law overrides the city law. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Um, so in any case, yeah. I can't say that any of these weapons that showed up at this confrontation were illegal if they were either unloaded, even though it was in Portland where open carry is uh, uh, prohibited. If the people who were open carrying had a concealed carry permit, then they are exempt. And if the uh, weapons were unloaded, then uh, they would be legal. Um, so nothing says that this was inherently illegal, but what is clear is that this is incredibly dangerous, that we are dealing with a situation in which people uh, engaged in a 
what I would think is a preposterous protest in the interest of justice, where it isn't, as you point out, clear at all what that would even mean, right? These people yeah. are walking around with, uh, you know, with the AR-15s in the street. Some driver who doesn't know that there's a protest encounters them as drivers will if you're protesting in the middle of the street. He's armed. Suddenly he's surrounded by people who have high-powered weapons. I mean, you know, what has to happen to recognize the danger of this, right? Yeah. This is incredibly dangerous. So anyway, I, I just didn't see that that could happen here in Portland and we could uh, not comment on it. Yeah. If I've misunderstood anything about what's taking place, I'm sure people will alert me uh, in large numbers, I would imagine. <laughs> sure. Um, but which is, which is good when, when we do actually get something wrong that we hear about it from a lot of people. Uh, when we don't get things wrong and we hear about how we did, uh, we also hear about it. And sometimes sorting through those two um, things can yeah. be difficult. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm positively in favor of the first one. Absolutely, um, 100%. It's, 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 a uh, it's just it's, it's harder to, to always know because we do get a certain amount. If you got this wrong, it's like, no, actually, your argument doesn't make sense. The guy in the vehicle at the North Portland protest was beaten nearly to death by the armed protesters. And there's a there's a link. Yeah, I know I know he's hospitalized um still. Um it's a it's a disaster. Yeah, and that actually it's that is disaster. quite an omission from what we said. Uh, I was not sure what his condition was. I still am not sure. I did know that he's still hospitalized. So whatever happened was severe, but yeah. um I think we should have said more about that and it just didn't get said, but we'll amend it here. 